All right, we are back with another video. And today I wanted to talk about how to align your subconscious mind to success, to happiness, to uh, equanimity, and just being more fulfilled as an individual, having your goals actually achieved. And I wanna start this off with a story, especially two stories when I realized how powerful subliminal messaging is. I remember I was in New York with uh, my filmer, my video editor, and my girlfriend at the time. And uh, I remember just like thinking, and at the time I didn't know much about New York, I didn't know the different cities there was that was there, et cetera, et cetera. And we were sitting at the subway station. And I remember just thinking, I'm like, man, I feel like I've seen this in movies all the time, but I feel like Staten Island, uh, the word Staten Island, right? I'm gonna put this down here. Staten Island should be a real island in New York. I was like, it should be a real island in New York. And I remember my, my video editor who lives in New York at the time was saying, well, yeah, it is. It's a real thing. And I was like, what the heck? Where did that thought even come from? Why did I even think of Staten Island? I thought at the time it was because of movies that, that I've watched before in the past. But as we were getting onto the uh, subway, I remember at the top, it was saying something like, next stop, you know, Staten Island. And it was just such a random thought that I had to just, you know, spurt it out while we were sitting there and waiting for, for the subway. And I remember thinking, huh, that's interesting. I, you know, I literally just talked about this a, a minute or two minutes ago, and it was probably because I saw the word Staten Island subliminally as we were sitting there and not consciously. And so my thoughts at that moment was dictated on something that I saw on just like a, like a billboard thing. And so that was the first time that I realized, oh, your brain picks up on the surrounding things around you. And then I remember uh, I went over to my girlfriend's house one night and she had like some TV show in the background and I wasn't listening or anything. I was just kind of like doing my own thing. And I remember just looking at her little puppy uh, who's like a, you know, tiny, like two pound Yorkshire Terrier. And I was looking like, I was looking at her and I was going, wow, this dog looks so funny that it should be named Gargoyle. I don't know why, but I just feel like its name should be Gargoyle. Just like a random thought, right? I've never heard of this word in my life before. I've never thought about this word. I've never, uh, I, n I don't even know what a Gargoyle is. And five minutes passes by and as the TV show was on, it was talking about this creature called a gargoyle in the show. And I was just like, what the fuck? Like this whole time that I had this thought that I thought was mine, that this dog's name should be gargoyle, just a random thought was actually subliminally picked up through this random TV show that was in the background. And in that moment, I realized how powerful uh, it is that your mind picks up on these different things especially with you know the videos that you watch right videos that you guys are watching on uh, YouTube and Instagram and Facebook uh, and all these different social media channels TikTok right TT um, the music that you listen to and what vibrational few, uh, frequencies are behind that music right so there's like hip-hop um, metal, EDM, etc. right? Pop, yada, yada, yada. Uh, the people that you surround yourself with and the thoughts that they have, the thoughts, feelings, and uh, desires that they have and how much you pick up on them. And so I started to become very careful with what I was surrounding myself with. And I started to change a lot of things within my life. Uh, a lot of aggressive hip hop music, I just completely got rid of it. I stopped listening to it. Uh, a lot of aggressive metal music, I stopped listening to. I stopped watching mindless social media videos. I stopped hanging around with people who had 
uh, super negative thought, consistent negative thoughts. And look, it's okay to feel negative sometimes. It's okay to feel depressed. It's okay to feel angry. Emotions are signals for change, essentially. And they are there for you to actually feel them. We are emotional creatures. But with someone who is constantly negative, they are living in a constant negative environment. They are constantly feeling negative. They are constantly having negative desires. You want to edit those relationships so you spend less time with those people. And I started to edit those relationships and I noticed just every day as I was waking up, I felt more at ease. I was having less anxiety. I was having less um, uh, thoughts about the future and worry and, and depression and anger and frustration. And I think one of the biggest things was actually music, like changing the music that I listened to. And I started listening to uh, different frequency music, right? So you have, I'm gonna erase this right here with my hands, so hopefully it doesn't get all over my fingers. Um, but I started listening, you know, you have beta, alpha, uh, teta, and delta, right? And usually beta music is really good for increasing levels of alertness and increasing that sense of uh, adrenaline rush, right? It makes you very aware and awake but the problem is if you're constantly in this beta state where you're listening to music, listening to people, watching videos that are operating from this, this frequency or level of consciousness, which is beta, which is very high alertness, uh, distinct alertness, very high adrenaline state, you will start to notice you have more anxiety you have more angry thoughts, you have a perpetual just feeling like tired all the time. And so, you know, music, videos, people who I started to, to notice like they were in a more beta, anxious, driven, angry, tired state all the time, or music that was super aggressive and loud and, and all over the place, I just completely got rid of and I stopped listening to it. And I started to notice this anxiety, gone. This anger, gone. This tiredness, gone. All of these like states that we don't want to necessarily be in all the time were pretty much gone. And I started to replace my music with alpha music. You know, when I was doing work, I would listen to like alpha waves. When I was trying to get ready for bed, it would be delta or, or teta. Or when I was meditating, it would be delta and teta. So I started to replace my subconscious, my subliminal thoughts, my subliminal surrounding with things that were of higher consciousness that allowed my uh, brain frequency to actually reset to normal levels that increased my levels of serotonin, increased my levels of dopamine, increased my levels of endorphins, which essentially allows you to have higher energy, uh, be happier, less anxiety, all of these things that we don't want to have. And so if you're watching this right now and you're surrounded by people who are operating from this beta state, you know, they're always high alert, highly anxious, start to edit those relationships, start to go down the list of people who you spend around uh, time around who are in that state and start to edit those relationships. If you're listening to music all the time, that is highly aggressive, um, highly in a beta state, and, and you can actually search up what frequency these are and what frequency is the music that you're listening to, start to edit the music that you're listening to. If you're watching videos that is very high anxiety, high anger, high, all of these things, stop watching those videos. And honestly, if you can get rid of social media in general, stop watching YouTube videos in general, you know, even these, if you're a, a avid YouTube goer, stop watching all videos, <laughs> even mine. Uh, if you're always on TikTok, delete the app. If you're always on Instagram, delete the app because it is very easy to get sucked into these beta waves uh, because it's super addictive. And uh, a lot of these apps, a lot of this music, all of these things will put it, put you into this state just because it holds your attention for so much longer, but you're not going to be any happier because of them. So this is how subliminally you can reset your level so that you can become happier, more present, and just essentially 
just surround yourself with uh, better vibes that's going to allow you to become more successful in all areas of your life. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, I keep tapping this board for, for no reason. If you enjoyed this video, then comment down below your thoughts, um, anything that you've found helpful or any questions that you have. You can also message me on Instagram or Facebook, which is down in the description box below and subscribe to this YouTube channel and we will talk soon. Take care.